Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Goal Union channel, formerly MN Wong. I'm Andrew Wong. We got a big box in the back, and I just got back from the UPS distribution center. So that means one thing. We got G5s in the car. So stick around. We're going to look over what uh, is new, what's uh, neat, and what I think about them fresh out of the box. We're not going to see uh, any ice time right now, but stay tuned in the future for that. But for now, check out the G5 overview unboxing. Before we start this video, I just want to say thanks to Jay Ward over at thegoalakrease.com. He's always been really good. Uh, his customer service is top notch. That place is excellent. Also, the Canadian exchange rate's really good right now. Hint, hint, hint. But uh, enjoy the vid. What's up? Got the new box in. I am going to open it here. 100% uh, on camera so you can see what I get right out of the box. I'm not going to finick with the glove in any beforehand so you won't see me messing around with a broken in glove it's going to be purely as you get it out of the box i got it today you gotta be careful opening these things so you don't cut your pads but here we go just the blocker Glove. Here's the pads. So the difference on the pads right now is that I actually got them one inch shorter. I think I was landing too low on my old one, so I got them shorter. I also opted to get the stiffer thigh rises. So they're a little bit smaller, um, stiffer, so they should last longer. So I'm curious to see how these do. Um, let's take a look at them. Let's go with the glove first because everyone loves a glove. <clears throat> let's make room for me here. So here's the old G4s. They've been good to me. Now we're ready for G5s. Let's see here. Open that up. I got a double T this time as well. That's a little bit different from the last time. But uh, yeah, let's stick our hand in there and see how it goes. A little stiff to open right now, but closure's fine. Seems to close up really well. Um, I'm noticing there's actually kind of a bump. This is thicker for sure. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they put something in here, but okay. There's a bump right there that I think might help present it more forward. I'm not sure. Um, that's all I noticed with the glove right now. All right, so here's that bump I was talking about on the wrist. I believe this was also on the G4s, but it's also on the G5s now, or it's still on the G5s. So not a big change there, I don't think, and you can easily take it out. It's Velcro, like a lot of this stuff. So easy to replace, easy to customize, easy to swap out. Yeah, I, I use the standard brake. It feels really similar. Um, Size-wise, like that forward facing, I can kind of see a little bit of a difference, but I think that's more of a thing you'll notice subtle, subtly. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. Looks like it presents nice and wide. The double T is pretty tight in. It's not like a really wide spread there. So, I don't think it's make a huge difference. I don't know. I figured I've been using a single T for a while and while I like it, I'd give a double T a shot. It's got a nice big deep pocket. So um, feels good. Nice and light like always. And uh, it's well stitched together. No, I'm not seeing any like loose threads or anything. So I like the colors a lot. Um, I've kind of gone with the darker, more solid blocks of color this time instead of breaking it up so much. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of neat. I still got a fair amount of yellow when it presents here, so I can kind of see the pocket in the pocket. Not that you wouldn't know, but yeah, there's a sweet glove. Let's go into the blocker. Let's see here. Blocker feels maybe a little bit different actually this time. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. It's been a while since I've played hockey, so now I'm not used to the stuff I have. Um, Feels pretty similar. This is a lot flatter. So I don't know if you can see that there. Look at the old curve there. And there's the new curve. 
So that's a big difference right off the bat. Um, I did notice at times pucks would kind of put themselves into spicy locations when I would uh, make a save. This will obviously deflect shots up higher off and into the, hopefully into the, the netting, if not at least into a less dangerous position uh, instead of shooting straight up too. So that feels pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking the, uh, all the finger protection. I'm wondering if this is much different or not. Actually, I'm seeing another difference here. In the G4 palm, there's a lot more stitching. And in this one, there's a significant amount less. Maybe I'll show some pictures on the, on the um, edit to show you what the difference is there. But there is definitely a difference in the palm and its construction, but I don't know that that's gonna make a difference for um, durability or not. It's less stitches, so maybe that, that's cheaper and maybe it's less uh, things to break or fail. So, sweet, that's pretty good. Now let's look at the pads. So the pads, the big difference here this year is that they fixed the issue that happened um, along the knee landing. I've had a couple times where I've had to just basically what I do is I buy some heavy duty super glue and I glue it down. It actually does the trick. It shouldn't happen obviously and you know people have a right to be kind of upset about it but super glue will actually keep, keep this down and you'll it'll buy you like four or five months on a heavy amount of skates where that won't be an issue. But obviously it shouldn't happen and they knew that, so they fixed it with this, I assume, uh, having there no, be no threads that touch the ice here. And there's also the notch in there. Um, these pads feel, I don't know, I mean, like I haven't used them yet and they just feel stiff right now, which I don't think is a bad thing. Um, yeah, they, I, I ordered the Pro Stiff Top, which is definitely stiff. Um, that might help me last a little bit longer as far as the durability goes. Maybe I can ride these out for a little bit, for a little while longer, but that's like that stiffness. If I apply the same, it's not moving. Um, I can, you can bend it, but yeah, I'm not gonna push it right now because I don't wanna break them in like that. I kinda want some, some strength on the, on the thigh rise. So these are one inch smaller than my other ones. Um, I'm gonna end up going like this here taking that guy out, taking this guy off, and taking these little clips off. Sometimes, a pro tip here is that sometimes these things are useful when you want to use a garter belt to keep your knee, knee, uh, your knee guards up higher. Um, I've been told that, I think I read that the toe strapping system's a little different. This definitely looks angled. Right at the bottom here, it kind of comes up at an angle. I think that's gonna be yeah, that's a lot, that's, that looks a fair amount different. So there's the old toe strapping system here. Um, I use sliding toe bridges because I, I have a bad knee and these have always saved me for quite a while. Um, this doesn't come out as much either. There's this flap here that's on the G4s. There's no flap on these. So it's very much meant to be used with this system now, I think. Um, there are two holes here. Hmm that you could probably thread something through and use, use your toe ties on it. So I think you would be, if you wanted to use like a pro lace system, you'd be able to do that still, I think. You usually need something to get behind here, but maybe you just lace around and attach something. Um, yeah, so we'll see what, how that goes. Maybe I'll have to figure something out if I don't like how this elastic strap works, but yeah, let's see. What else? The one thing I used to say on my old uh, G2s and G3s, is uh, take this out of the, the thigh root loop, but that changed on the G4s, and it looks like it's pretty much the same on the G5s. They also added this here, where you can loop that through. And I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. I'm kind of in between on that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, another thing I'm noticing here, is on the G4, this is pretty thickly padded and it's a pretty soft padding. And on the G5, there's softer padding here and it's there's this angle padding here. And if you look on this G5, we've gone to like a, there's the angle padding there, which is good because it's kind of going down towards the surface of the ice. 
but this has opened up. This is a stiffer padding now, and th that's gone there, which I think I like, actually. We'll see how that plays out. Um, and this is a lot wider, so you're not as, I'm going to guess you don't feel as stuck in the leg channel. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. You probably can get your firmness if you want by going to this piece here and uh, stiffening that up or uh, putting that in tighter. But it looks like this leg channel has changed more than I thought it was going to, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, we'll see how that plays out. So, yeah, we're looking at uh, pretty stiff up here. This feels... This feels stiffer than I remember those ones feeling. Right now, these are, I mean, they're broken in, yeah, so they're, they're wobble, a little wobbly now, not too bad. And uh, let's see if there's a difference here. There is, where it stitches, like the angle in here feels like kind of as part of a similar unit, or the same unit that goes out on the knee landing. But right here is kind of an extra pad so I don't know what this this seems like it's maybe added on to help you drive the knee down but this definitely feels nice and firm um, it does feel smaller I don't know what it is about the warrior stuff but if I look at like a CCM pad this landing always looks a lot smaller to me than um, than a CCM pad or a Lefebvre now or whatever brand you're looking at um, but yeah then let's look the whole knee block here looks way deeper, which I like, and it looks stiffer, which I like. I think I had some issues with these uh, catching on my knee guards um, when I was going down. I feel like this block almost got in the way. It's weird because it feels like it's not even part of the pad here. It almost seems like something they, you could take out if you want. This feels, this feels separate from the uh, pad still, but it's much wider, much thinner, and I feel, think you'll feel much more in the pad. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to make this thing run on for a while. So it looks like an awesome pad. I'm really excited to get it out on the ice. Um, hopefully I'll see some ice here in the next couple weeks. Um, there's some rumors people have ice out in Wisconsin. If I get a call, I'm probably going to try and take them up on it. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I'm missing before we sign off here. So yeah, a couple last things that I noticed that are different on these is that the little uh, wedge guard, post guard, that really never, I didn't feel really did a whole lot. Um, that's all integrated into the thigh pad here now. Um, that is just attached to this here. Um, these definitely feel stiffer, larger than they do on the G4s. I know there was a, um, they do thin out up towards the top. I think that was to keep you from letting pucks leak in through here when you're up in RVH, which I don't think it's a high percentage, but cool. I mean, if it helps, it helps. Um, there's a big difference. I feel like there's a bigger difference between the G5 and 4 than there was between the 4 and 3. So I'm definitely going to need a, probably a couple few skates before I really have like a, a realistic impression of what these pads can do now or what the differences are. And then there's going to be an adjustment period because we've all been off the ice for quite a while. So, um, yeah. I'm going to wrap up the video now just so it doesn't run on forever. Uh, like and subscribe. We're Goalie Union now. Please comment and ask questions if you have anything. If you got something negative to say, I, I'll, I'll take constructive criticism. If you got something positive to say, I'll have it too. So uh, hopefully everyone's doing well after all this lockdown. Hopefully we're not all crappy goalies now. So you have a good one. Take care.